Hey everybody, so I am here today with a project share and um, this is for a swap that I'm hosting over at the Junk Journal Junkies Facebook group. Um, it is for a gratitude junk journal. And um, so my partner is Allie and she is Allie Loves Mini Albums here on YouTube. Hey Allie. Um, I will put a link to Allie's channel in my description box. I'm sure you've all heard of her. She makes amazing um, altered books, junk journals, just, you know, she's a fabulous crafter. So yeah, so Allie and I um, decided we would do a 5x7 and we would do like a book style which has um, like the signatures. So as you can see, I did four and she wanted it chunky. She said, let's do a chunky. So I think I kind of upheld the chunkiness, as you can tell. It's quite chunky. Um, and yeah. And we said like shabby chic, but like muted colors, like not too bright, kind of vintage shabby chic, if that makes sense. So I hope this is everything that she wanted. Um, for my papers, I use this stack, you guys. I love it so much. It's the 180 paper pack. Keller, Kurtz & Company. Um, now these pages are, you know, very thin, so they're perfect for these journals. However, I did use a couple more thicker pages, like if she wanted to add photos and stuff. Um, and those were just some various ones I had in my stash, like some are Webster's Pages and um, Huddy Swap. And I'll show you those. So let's go inside. Well, let me just tell you the, the front first. Um, I just covered it with the, the paper and I actually made this, you guys. It was my first time. So this is all chipboard. So I made like, I cut the chipboard, covered it, and then I made the two inch spine. And then to attach it to the boards, I used that Claudine Helmuth um, sticky back canvas. So that's what I used. And then I put this um, really pretty trim and I've seen people do this, and I don't know, I can't remember the channel, but it's such a pretty idea, and it kind of covers up the, the stitching. So I added that, and this is like a cream color, and then I added this really beautiful vintage-looking trim that I got from Letty, who is my little sweet peas. Thank you, Letty. Um, so I just cover it on the front and the back, and... Um, to make it kind of stiff, I put starch, and then I used hot glue and then glossy accents to adhere it. So I did that on the front and on the back. And for my closure, this is just one of those like hair bands that you put on your hair. And I just um, glued this little shabby flower and I put the little center on the inside. So that's my closure. And then on the front here, I used the stamp set that Crafty Irina sent me. And it's disappeared from my desk. Yes, it's, oh, it's here. Okay, it's this one. And this one. So that's the, the stamps that I got from Irene. Thank you, Irene. So I used those, and I actually found another one of these that Tuesday morning, so I'm gonna be sending that to Allie in case she wants to, you know, stamp some more throughout her journal. So I just stamped that on some craft card stock. Oh, and to kind of seal in the paper and this, I used this one. Gloss, medium, and varnish. I love that stuff. Um, yeah, so I just stamped it, cut it out, and then I um, attached it to a metal piece from Butterbee Scraps. Um, adhered it with hot glue and... Uh, E6000. So let's go in the inside. It's super thick. I'm going to flip through it pretty fast, you guys, because um, I don't want this video to be too long. So all of my printables are from Pinterest and a few that I had purchased. So this one is from Pinterest. It says I'm grateful. This is also Pinterest. I coffee stained everything and baked the paper and just various stamping. Allie wanted some a lined paper so I did that and just stamping you guys some index cards and all my stamping I did in this color a blue or a brown this one is Pinterest I think it is I'm just a doily 
a little small doily. This is my Kool-Aid stain paper, but then it was kind of too bright, so I dipped it in coffee um, solution, like I coffee dyed it over the Kool-Aid. So it kind of made it less bright. Teresa Collins stamp says gratitude. Love this paper. This one is a um, an Etsy purchase. And this is that paper that the kids learn how to print on. So I put some of that in there. Super cute. These are also free printables from Pinterest. So I just printed them off, fussy cut them, kind of sprayed them with some sprays. This journal, it's more like a journal than a junk journal. I mean, it's still like a junk journal, but um, yeah, I love that one. That's really nice. But I love all this paper, like so much space for journaling. And I must say that some of my inspiration for this journal came from watching um, Marina, who is Mars Art here on YouTube. Hey, Marina. She does amazing journals, you guys, with like a lot of this coffee dyed paper. Oh, so pretty. And just the sound of it. After listening to hers, I had to go start baking mine. So yeah. Um, here's another tuck spot with two more um, printables. I put a link to Marina's channel, you guys, in my description box. You have to check her out. And jo Johanna, she is also amazing. She does a lot of these type journals with like a lot of paper and stuff. Um, I'll put a link to her channel as well. So this is just a mason jar that I cut out from my silhouette and I put this acetate and then sewed it. And then I thought Allie could just like write her little things, write little things that she's grateful for on the mason jars and these came from Cat Crafty Irina. She gifted those to me so thank you Irene. So I put about three or four of those so she can take them out and you know um, journal. This is Webster's Pages and this is so pretty. I wanted to add this because my journal was looking more vintage than muted shabby chic so yeah. I added that. Here is a little tuck spot. And more stamping, another Etsy purchase that says I'm counting my blessings. And then I put some of this slanted lined paper for her to journal. And this is Webster's Pages again. Keller Kurtz, another one of those free printables. This is my Marina inspired page. Um, she does this. I think uh, Johanna does too. So I just put two tags. That one and this one. I love this one. So pretty. This one I um, did the little stamping. It says count your blessings and then I put clouds and then numbered it. So she can just journal her blessings. Another Pinterest printable. So this journal is super chunky, you guys. This is a coin envelope that I coffee dyed and baked and it's so crispy. So she can tuck stuff in there. Another one. You can kind of see a little bit of sprays on that. I didn't go too crazy. This is the Heidi Swap one. Um, here is another talk spot with two more of those um, coffee stained index card, but this one is just no lines. It's just plain. And then this is a Pinterest printable. This is a paper tray ink stamp set. Here I have another pocket, so I will tuck some stuff in there. 
I think I was waiting for it to dry. So yeah, I'll have to put some tags. Here is another um, Etsy purchase. It came in like a sheet of four or five, I think. It says, gratitude is the best attitude. And then these two. And this one. Have an attitude for gratitude. I had a lot of fun making this journal. It was, um, you know, not my normal style, but it was super fun. I love it. I'm going to make more of these. Um, just another index card with a stamp. Love that one. I love this paper. I love this one with the little strawberries. So just, I left some blank pages too for her, like if she wanted to draw or do her own stamping. I didn't want to stamp like every single page. And you know me, I love stamping. So I hope Allie likes it. I hope it's not too stained. <laughs> I love this image. I may do a decorative punch there. I think I will. That looks too bland. Yeah. Looks good. Here I just put a little doily. And here I made another pocket and some more of those cards. Remember, this is the other side of that hottie swap paper. And the last page. It says, today I give thanks to everyone who has been part of my life's journey. So I thought that was fitting to put at the end. And that is the back, you guys. And that's my super chunky... Gratitude Junk Journal for Allie, and I hope she likes it. Um, so this is going to go in the mail today, which is Monday. Hopefully I'll upload this video sometime during the week. Um, but that's it, you guys. Um, if you have any questions, just leave it in the um, comment box. I will get back to you, I promise. I'm finished with all my swaps now. It's just um, creating for me and a few Christmas gifts. So yeah, you guys, um, thank you all so much for watching and have a great day, everybody. Bye.